Today is an incredibly exciting day for film photographers because Polaroid has announced their brand new i2 camera. This is the Polaroid camera that I feel like photographers like myself have been asking for for years and it's been redesigned pretty much from the ground up. Some of the things they've done with it are a significantly better lens with full manual controls. You can do long exposures with the tripod mount on the bottom. This is something I've wanted for so long. It's got an incredibly bright and clear viewfinder, which makes the experience of shooting with it so much better. The autofocus is incredible. And this thing has just been completely redesigned and upgraded in every way imaginable. So this week I'm testing out this camera by bringing it with me to Morro Bay to take a ton of photos with it and just see what this new i2 is capable of. I like the bike on top of the car. I'm doing like a series of Polaroids of the rock here. You think I could just take a photo of the car with the bike on top? Thank you. That was awesome. I really want to get like a Polaroid photo that's very up close of the rock with just a ton of its texture. So that's what I'm going to try and do now. I like this corner here. It's nice and sharp. Rocky. That should be good. Just take one slightly underexposed and just see what it looks like. I want to get this next shot kind of like diagonally. Oh, a bird almost just pooped on me. I want to get this next shot like diagonally, just the rock splitting the frame. So that's what I'm going to try and do here. Two, one. Nice. I've been coming to Morro Bay for quite a few years now. I think my first visit here was about five years ago and that was before I'd ever even set foot in Los Angeles. And although this project with the rock started a decent bit later. I have been shooting it for quite some time now. So my goal this week, shooting the Polaroid camera out here in Morro Bay, is to hopefully just find some new inspiration and some new perspectives on this project. I think usually switching between cameras doesn't do that much for me creatively, but switching to an entirely different format that just requires a completely different approach certainly does. So that's kind of my goal with the Polaroid camera here for the next couple of days is to just take a new approach and hopefully find some new inspiration. My buddy Jake is joining me, his little dog Frida, and we're going to spend some time out here for the next couple of days just taking as many photos and I'm going to try to really put this thing to use, put it through its paces because I want to figure out if this thing is worth the price tag. The features sound nice, but in actual use, is this thing worth the money? Hi! Hi. What's up, Jakey? Uh, Vlogging on this black magic is insane, but I've decided I'm gonna try the close-up focusing by taking a portrait of Frida here, just cause I don't know if I can get that close to the rock, so I might just need to test this out for myself. Sit. All right. Yeah, we're not, no free promo. Frida.
getting really nice and foggy behind me and I kind of just want to test out the long exposure feature. I don't know how much rock we're going to see in this image, but it'll just be a good first test because I really want to try and take a nice Polaroid where this water is like blurry and we'll put it on shutter priority. See how that goes. That looks great. I've got my tripod mount on the bottom here. So now I'm going to set the camera to shutter priority mode here and then I can just use the wheel on the camera to dial in the exposure. I don't feel the need to do full manual because I can kind of just use the exposure compensation here to adjust over or underexposed. A sixth of a second at f16. That sounds great. Turn off the flash. Here comes a nice little wave. There it is. I like the way this little river here curves, so I'm gonna try just a shot of that. Oh, here comes some water. Uh-oh. I wish I asked them for a portrait. Yeah. Nah, they're too far. Yo! Hey, would you guys? Thank you guys. I'm doing a little project for Polaroid. They have a new camera, so I'm doing like a video on it before it comes out. Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys look awesome. Uh, just casual, relaxed is cool. I'll try two here if that's all right. Three, two, one. And then I'm gonna try one with the flash as well. How was it out there today? Sick. Had a lot yeah. Of fun. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I, yeah, I all right, one more here. Three, two, one. Sick. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, thank you. Stoked. In all honesty, if it wasn't for my buddy Jake, I probably wouldn't have taken that portrait. The guys were like kind of far. I was like, eh, I'm not going to call him back over. I tell Jake about it. He kind of just shouts, yo, you guys want a photo? And they came over here super enthusiastic. A lesson for me to just go for it. And I used my last two frames, so I got to put another pack of film in here, but I think those could come out pretty sick. They're still developing right now. So that was F8 at 1,250th of a second. Uh, no, I'm doing a project for this camera company, Polaroid. They're making a new camera. Oh, they make a new camera? Yeah, it's a new one. Those cameras, they're like old? This, yeah, they, they use like old film, but this is actually a brand new one that they're making that's like much better than the old ones. Oh, yeah? They're yeah. Okay, like a uh, like, uh, you know, like after a couple of years, it's yeah. getting really bad. I mean, a little bit, but that's part of the charm, you know, that's why people like it. Oh, yeah? It's fun. I like those. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to find those. Yeah, yeah. They they still make a few new ones. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, did I get the bird? I don't even know. I'm doing like a little Polaroid series here in Morro Bay for Polaroid. They're doing like a new camera. Could I take a photo of you with the easel? It's so nice. I love Polaroids. They have like a new camera, so. Is it still like the instant development? It is, yeah, but just with like some modern technology in it, so it's kind of fun. That's cool. I yeah. Them still. Yeah. All right, I'd love to. So much fun with those. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> what do you usually do? I use like a Mamiya, like a medium format film camera still. Well, I've shot maybe three boxes of film with this camera now, and I just want to give a little bit of my first impressions. I think what's impressed me the most so far is that for how much like manual controls and creative features they've managed to pack into this thing, 
they also haven't overcomplicated this camera. That was kind of one of the things I would be worried about is that a Polaroid should be simple and it should be fun. You should be able to point and shoot and get a nice snapshot of whatever's in front of the camera. When you want the full manual controls over this and you wanna do long exposures, you can switch the modes really easily and do that. But if you wanna just set this thing to auto and just point and shoot, it is still equally good at that as well without becoming too complicated. When you put this thing on full auto, you just get the amazing autofocus and the much more advanced metering system. And I've noticed that just the success rate out of a pack of eight photos has been significantly higher with this camera than what I'm used to with my Polaroid photos in the past. Bay, I found myself getting creative with this camera in new ways that I wouldn't have experimented with if I just stuck with my Mamiya 7 like I always do. I want to give a huge thank you to Polaroid for working with me on this video. It's an absolute honor and I cannot wait to see what photographers do with this camera. You can find more about it in the link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week with another video. Peace.